in the embrace of night. Once upon a time in a green village, there lived a girl named Diana. She didn't have many friends. She loved her solitude and despised crowds and noise. Her favorite pastime was climbing up the tree in their yard at night, sitting on a branch and watching the moon for hours. She could sit under the starry night sky without getting tired, gazing into the distant, mysterious forest. One night, a party was held at their house. Diana looked more beautiful than ever, and the scent of small white jasmine flowers and her curly black hair filled the house. However, Diana couldn't bear the crowd and suffocated, so she sneaked out of the house, mounted her horse, and without considering the dangers, her heart led her towards the curious forest. As she ventured deeper into the dark forest, her curiosity turned into fear. Diana's eyes caught sight of a wounded white rabbit. She dismounted and approached the rabbit, but suddenly something forcefully pushed her back. Diana, who had closed her eyes tightly in fear, gathered her courage and opened her eyes. In front of her was a boy with a pale face, blood-stained fangs, and soulless blue eyes glaring at her with anger. It was a vampire. Diana, trembling in fear, asked, Are you the vampire they talk about in the village? The boy looked at her angrily and said menacingly, Haven't they taught you not to interfere with other people's food in your village? Diana replied, But I didn't know it was your food. The boy retorted, Well, if you don't want to become my food, you better leave now. Diana quickly mounted her horse and fled back to her home. Days and nights passed, but the image of the vampire boy didn't leave Diana's mind, and her curiosity only grew stronger. Until one day, her curiosity overcame her fear, and she went to the forest again. The vampire boy, whose name was Alexander, was surprised by Diana's courage, and he found himself strangely drawn to her presence. Every night they sat together in silence, finding solace in each other's loneliness under the starry sky. As time passed, Diana saw the depth of loneliness in Alexander's life, and she felt that her feelings resonated with his emotions. On the other hand, Alexander found himself captivated by her and eagerly waited for her every night. Her presence awakened something within him that he had long forgotten. Curiosity, excitement, happiness, and sorrow. One night, Alexander opened up and shared the story of how he became a vampire. His mother sent him to live with his grandmother after his father's death and her remarriage. However, when his grandmother passed away, his mother abandoned him in an orphanage, leaving him feeling unloved by anyone. The heartbreak and isolation gradually hardened his heart until the day he turned into a vampire. Upon hearing Alexander's heart-wrenching story, Diana's heart ached for him and tears streamed down her face. Through her tears, she told him, but I will love you, not just for myself. I will love you as if I were your father, mother, grandmother, and all your friends combined, so you'll never feel lonely again. As Diana's tears fell, Alexander found himself shedding tears too, something he hadn't done for years. The love they felt for each other blossomed, and Alexander began to accept the love of others, embracing both the goodness and darkness within him. With Diana by his side, he felt the chance for a new life as a human, drawing him closer to the opportunity of redemption. Hey, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss our stories. Bye.